Joanne. You want to take us on a garden tour? Hmm? Good morning. It is June the 18th. Had a lot of rain last night. <clears throat> well, not a whole lot. We had a little bit of a storm. So, let's do our little garden tour for June the 18th on Nichols Retirement Empire. Begonias and stuff. These begonias just doing fantastic. And our little um, uh, planter we got back here has just been doing great the whole time it's back here. And we got some wildflowers in the middle. And I don't know how tall this thing right here is going to get before it finally blooms. But it is just gone and gone and gone. And this flower is just continue to do very well our um, herbs are doing fine back here since I've moved them over here and sometimes I have to come out here and I have to move them um, I've been having some issues with the Sun kind of blistering things and they'll wilt a little bit so I just have to kind of baby these out here um, and part of it's because I don't know if I'm watering them the right way I know I'm watering them enough but they'll get a little droopy every once in a while I really have to watch them and get them out of the sun and the same thing with my uh, my little jalapenos here I'm getting nice peppers on them uh, I'm really having to watch them they're they've done pretty well but they've gotten a little wilted a couple times too and my San Marzano tomatoes Getting a little tall, a little skinny. But they are bearing. And I did go in here and I did um, pull off or cut off the suckers down here, hoping this will help them strengthen up a little bit. But they'll do the same thing during the day. They'll get a little. They'll get a little wilted. I have to really watch them. And move them around and try to make sure they're getting the right amount of sun. I may need to put some mulch on them just to help them to hold that water. So uh, I don't know if I have overwatered them. I don't think I'm overwatering them. But they are thin. My strawberry plants that I made my container, my planter raised bed back here for um, they're doing very well I think uh, and I've gotten actually gotten a couple strawberries off of them so they seem to be doing fine back here I think this is about the right amount of Sun for them the way this has worked out back here and my garden you can see we got a little windstorm here last night and it blew my squash over uh, Lord, I'm hoping they get turned over the way they need to be. And you can see how this nice big one, the other one's already starting to turn around. It's wild how they do that, isn't it? Like they'll just get totally blown over and it's already straightening up. It's only like about 8 o'clock. So I'm hoping as this sun kind of gets up that these will get up where they need to be. And you can see I'm starting to get my squash on there. So that's exciting. I got plenty of flowers on them. Uh, but I'll be glad when these get stood up. You know, you get kind of worried and nervous when all that happens. You think it's going to destroy it. Um, my cantaloupe is uh, doing very well. You can see it's got a lot of flowers on it. Hopefully it'll be bearing pretty soon. And since I've started, ever since I put... Um, to put my straw and stuff out here my hay out here it's really helped with my weeds my okra is still kind of pressing along here and it's struggled I mean it's had stuff eaten on it you know and I'll get some sevens and put on it anybody has any other advice for me on that I mean it's still continuing to grow uh, it's not affecting the growth or anything like that but anybody have any advice for me for the okra um, or for those tomatoes let me know I try to get on YouTube and look at a lot of you guys Oop, about fell 
I try to get on YouTube and look at a lot of you guys' channels and take advice and stuff like that. But if you got anything directly here, you need to tell me with those tomatoes or with this okra. My bell peppers, I had to get out here. I should have staked them in the very beginning, but I'm really starting to get some nice big bell peppers. That one's on the ground over there. I probably need to go ahead and pick it. But everything seems to be doing pretty good. Out here, as soon as I get those squash back on their feet. And today, I need to go get a net for these blackberries. You can already see, there's one that's gone. These birds are gonna rob me if I don't get my blackberries covered up. And we can go pick some wild blackberries. We got some places we can go. Man, but I sure would like for these. When these, when these get blackberries on them, they get real big blackberries and they're really sweet. They don't have a whole lot of seeds on them and stuff in them. So I need to get these covered. I'm gonna do that today. And my day lilies have bloomed. My roses, uh, since I started trimming them like I'm supposed to, uh, you can see I'm starting to get some growth on them now. Now I'm not 100% sure I'm trimming these. I need to go look at that, see if I'm trimming these the right way. Morning, Joanne. Good morning. Uh, I'm not 100% sure that I'm trimming these the right way, but I am getting a new growth on them. Because I'm trimming them like I do the, like I used to do my tea roses. And you'd have to go back and trim them like a couple of um, stems down. Like if, you know, like if this up here was the old growth, you'd trim it like back to this one, the second leaf back here. But I don't know if that's really the way to do those. Uh, but this stuff up here is doing well. <clears throat> and my roses, like I said, they're doing better. And when I split my lantana at the end of the summer, this is where I'm going to put some of that lantana. This gets a lot of shade. I got these two. This big, huge Japanese maple right here. This is a beautiful Japanese maple. It's, it, it's unbelievable how big this thing has gotten. But uh, I get a lot of shade here because I have it. And I have this tree over here. It's pretty. I did my bed up here that I've been working on. Of course, that Vinca plugging along those wildflowers again. I don't know how long those things are going to go until they finally get some kind of maybe they're just wild weeds. You help me out with that one. But they're growing. And look, my little uh, Dianthus has finally got a little flower on it. So they're coming along. The lantana that I bought. Oh, and at my grocery store, a different grocery store yesterday, they had these for $3. They were getting rid of them. So that's Vinca. You know how I like Vinca. So I threw it in here. And then they had another uh, lantana. I was able to get now it looks a little rough but it'll be fine it'll come back and then my sweet potato vine starting to uh, spread a little bit of course that purple heart and my mom's are even starting to get a little bloom on them so that's the garden update for 618 say good morning Joanne you guys have a good day.